So I'm now in a file and I've got some geometry created. If I go to the place turnout command, you'll see there is a toggle for use last long sleeper extension. If the last long sleeper dimension has been defined in the turnout library, then you must toggle on the use last long sleeper extension to enable you to be able to annotate and also view the last long sleeper extensions. So I can just pick my turnout here and I'll just quickly place it this end. Likewise, if I'm using a crossing, again, toggle on use last long sleeper extension. So now we have the turnouts and the crossings placed, we can use the new annotation groups to annotate them. So I can go to annotate element and here I need to make sure the override annotation group is toggled on because turnouts and crossings can be leading, trailing and left and right hand side. There is no one annotation group that fits all those different permutations. So we have here some examples of some options we can use. So this is going to be a lead in to the left hand side. And if I go back again and this time pick the crossing options. And again, we have single, slip, double slip, and diamonds. So I can pick lead in left hand side, which was this one. And I can do the trailing if I need to. So it's trailing, which is to the right hand side, which is this one. And if we look at the annotation, we will see we get the turnout name and the description or type. And we get last long bearer position and a cell just indicating the last long bearer. Now this text is obviously customizable. If we look at the single slip in this case, here I've just got examples of the key points. Again, these can be customized to suit however you want to annotate these. So if we look at our profile, and again, here we are, we have our turnout and our two crossings. I can go to my annotate element. Again, override needs to be turned on. And if you look at turnout first, here is slightly different. I've got some examples for one to 200 and examples for design view. So the design view is this view here. And the one that has a scale on is for my drawing production views. So I could do lead in design view, pick that, and I can change this to, then we've got to be in profile, so again crossing, and again we have design views, so this one was leading, and I can come up here if I want to, and this one was trailing. So again, I can just zoom in down here. So I'm getting the toe and the chainage. Again, name and description. IP chainage and last long bearer or whatever you wish to annotate at that position. And again, for the crossings, a similar set of text. So that's in the design view itself. So now we're adding in more design time information. So if we look in our profile views, used for drawing production, you can see here, I've got a name boundary and again, my, my turnout and my crossings have been displayed. And again, I can use profile group, the turnout, 
and this time I'm going to use the one to 200 scale and again it's giving me the information and how you present this how you want this annotated or orientated is purely up to you and your your standards you need to achieve and we could do a similar thing obviously for the for the crossing so this was a single and it was a leading 